Hello there students and welcome back to this video series. This is your instructor Dhruvi Bhatt and today we would be talking about organizational culture. Culture of an organization, how can you frame it? What consists of organization culture? What is the definition of organization culture? And how exactly the culture affects the manager and employees of your organization? Firstly, talking about of course the definition of organization culture. It is defined as the underlying beliefs, assumptions, values and ways of interaction that contributes to the unique social and psychological environment of an organization. It is basically the collection of values, expectations and practices that guide and inform the action of team members. What are the values and beliefs inculcated in your employees that is your organization culture? What drive them as a team? What type of culture or what type of beliefs are prevailing in your organization actually defines the culture of your organization. Edgar Skeen actually gave us the model of levels of organizational culture. The model starts with the assumptions, the underlying assumption of each and every individual in the organization leads to some values inside these people values or beliefs of the manager or the employees of the organization and these values will be showcased in artifacts or symbols will be showcased in their actions these values will depict from how they behave with each other in the organization how they uh, how they work in the organization etc let us know that why this organization culture is important Organizational culture is important firstly because it defines your company's internal and external identity. This is what defines you as a company. How your employees recognize you. Are you a good company, a bad company? Are you a company which motivates innovation? Are you a centralized company? Are you a company which motivates the employees? Are you a company which thinks about the best interests of the customers? With which type of company, which type of organization you are internally as well as in eyes of external people like your customers, like your stakeholders, like your shareholders, like your investors, all these people also government. What type of organization you are in all these eyes is defined by your culture. So it is quite an important thing. Secondly, organization culture actually depicts the core values of your organization. What types of values does your organization follow? Thirdly, your culture can transform employees into advocates or critics. Organizational culture, if effectively cultivated amongst the employees, they will become your advocate in the public image. When they go out and talk about the organization, they will advocate or they will speak good of your organization. But if organization culture is not very well maintained and is not very good in your company, then they might criticize your organization outside. This is word of mouth publicity which you are getting from your employees. Moreover, a strong organization culture helps you to keep your best people with you. Retention of the best people is possible using a strong culture. Moreover, a well-functioning culture assists with onboarding. A well-functioning culture makes sure that everything works out smoothly. There are no problems in the organization and even if there are problems, there are always some plans to overcome those problems. There is always a good team atmosphere, a good team spirit which is enhanced in the organization. Moreover, your culture transforms your company into a team. This is what I was talking about. The entire company is working towards a common goal. Whatever the problem is, the team, your company will face it together and will pass out with flying colors. Lastly, culture impacts performances and employees well-being. A well-motivated employee will obviously work better, perform better. Organization culture will make sure that the values imbibed into your employee 
will be will be pushing him towards a better performance and better reliability moving forward let us understand that what is all this chaos about organization culture which attributes define organizational culture on what attributes you can define that the culture is good or bad what attributes a particular organization culture must consist of to create a strong culture which are these values or which are these attributes the first attribute is respect and fairness of course treat your employees with respect secondly trust and integrity how much employees can trust the management how much management can trust the employees the change and adaptability how effectively you can adapt to the change the orientation towards the end results the goal orientation of each employee teamwork how much people think themselves as being part of a team employee engagement employees engagement as well as involvement in the decisions of the organization employees engagement in the best benefit of the organization is the attribute of organization culture responsibility and accountability how responsible are the employees and managers as well as the top managers of the organization which are the learning opportunities available in the organization and how you motivate your employees to learn in the best of their interests moreover the meaning and purpose of the organization is also very important also how effective is the communication in the organization and how less misunderstandings are there in the organization how fast is the decision making and how apt is the decision making in the organization lastly how much the goals and strategies are met over a period of time all these account for the attributes of organization culture the best these attributes are met with the better is the organizational culture now you know that what points you need to focus on to strengthen your organization culture let us see what is the effect of organization culture on the managers of the organization it affects the manager in four ways firstly it motivates the manager to do the best efficient and effective work it provides effective leadership because entire company is working as a team manager can provide better leadership in such type of organization having a better organization culture ambiguous cultures on the other hand will demotivate the managers and they will not be able to succeed in different arenas lastly a strong organizational culture will make sure that ethics of the manager are better met with they will know the difference between right and wrong good or bad for the organization and as a, as an individual too so this will be highly beneficial to the manager a better organizational culture will make sure that manager will excel in all the fields in all the areas and how the culture impacts the employees culture has a deep impact on employees and here too we have four ways in which it affects the employees firstly the culture provides the framework the basic structure following which each and every employee will work with the organization their behavior is guided by this culture they will know how to behave when to behave what to do when to do each of these policies and actions would be guided by organization culture secondly the positive or negative effect will be evidently seen of organizational culture on employees performance a good culture will ensure a positive or better performance a poor or weak culture will demotivate the employees and they will not be able to perform good thirdly it will enhance the job satisfaction of the employees a well motivated leader a company which motivates teamwork an organization which gives a work life balance an organization where there is a clear set of communication what better a job than such type of an organization so job satisfaction is guaranteed in strong cultures lastly organizational culture helps to 
align the goals of the individuals with organizational goals it makes sure that not only the organizational goals get fulfilled but individual goals are also given equal importance and these goals are also fulfilled over a period of time that was all about organizational culture students thank you so much for such patient listening to me this is ruibat signing off until next time bye bye